Hello everyone, it's Day here, and due to having some popular requests on my stream the other day to make a light attack weaving guide, um, I've decided to work on that today. So we're actually here in my house at the moment, which is our guild hall, and I'm just gonna briefly explain in hopefully a kind of comprehensible way how light attack weaving works. Um, I find the most effective way to learn how to light attack weave is to really simplify it. I think the biggest thing that you can do wrong when light attack weaving in Elder Scrolls Online is to like make it into a big thing in your head, move too fast, just getting frantic in any type of way is really going to ruin your rotation. So I thought let's just make this really simple so that people can actually just compartmentalize and realize that combat in this game is super fun if you understand how it works and you don't have to be stressed by it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and I really do hope this helps some people out. So the first thing that we're going to talk about, which is pretty important, is the rhythm of light attack weaving. I think when you're told by ESO players that the way to maximize your damage is to weave light attacks in between your abilities, I think it's really easy to interpret that, rightfully so, as, oh my gosh, I've got to squeeze these attacks in, which, which is really not actually what you're doing. And I think that can lead to people trying to do their rotation way too quickly. And that doesn't actually yield you any more DPS if you do that. So the most important thing to note is that when you're, when you're attacking in ESO, you actually aren't really attacking that quickly. The rotation and the speed of your rotation looks something like this. This is obviously a rough guess. This is not exact, but it's not, it's not as fast as this. It's much slower than you would think. And obviously when you're practicing, you can start even slower because the most important thing that you're actually learning how to do is animation cancel. It's not really so much about these little, these little attacks um, as it is about that. So my best advice is to start with a slow rhythm because in a lot of ways, the slower you do this, the more effective it's going to be. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. It's really, really important uh, for the rest of the kind of stuff I'm going to be teaching you just now. So the next kind of section we're going to talk about is arguably the most important part of this. Um, it's kind of the whole premise of light attack weaving, and that is the animation canceling aspect. The whole way that you are going to be maximizing our DPS um, is by canceling certain animations. And that's actually something that I think is a little bit of a misconception in this game. A lot of people think that you're trying to cancel the animation of your abilities. So this, for example, these animations. Oh, hello, Mr. Mr. Trial Dummy. Um, which that actually is not what we're trying to do. It's really easy to get that wrong, honestly. I mean, I think I get, got it wrong for quite a while. Um, so don't feel, if, if you have been doing that, do not feel stupid. It, it really is a very common misconception. So do not worry. The important thing to note is just that. What we're trying to cancel is this light attack. If you are to cast an ability directly after that light attack, you will notice that you're able to kind of cut that animation short. And that's what you're, that's really the aim of what we're trying to do. So if I decide that I'm going to cast Wall of Elements as my first ability, what I would do is I would light attack and then immediately, if you watch the diagram in the bottom left, you should be able to see what I'm doing, but I can light attack and then immediately cast Wall of Elements. It's a very, it's a two step kind of thing. Very quick, very quick. But what you won't see me doing is a one, two, three kind of motion. I'm not going back directly to my primary fire straight after, not like this or vice versa, 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. That would technically be wrong because that would kind of give the impression that you're trying to cancel this animation, which is not what we're trying to do. We're trying to cancel our light attack animation. So 1-2, break, 1-2, break, 1-2, break. And so what you're actually doing is you're queuing up this uh, wall of elements animation. Uh, and by doing that, you're kind of canceling this light attack. And this can actually be done. The re a really easy way to kind of see this in action is actually to look at heavy attacking. And we'll go into this more in depth later, but a really easy way from you to kind of understand the queuing system in ESO is to practice it with heavy attacks. If I hold down my heavy attack and press my two directly after, so you can watch again in the diagram, I'm holding down and pressing two and it goes off. Holding down, pressing two, it, the ability is gonna queue itself up and go straight after. And so that is essentially what's happening just in a much quicker scale in light attack weaving. So you're able to cancel and have the quickest animation coming out of your staff or whatever weapon you're using to get that little extra uh, DPS tick. We'll go into some more details about the light attacks, heavy attacks and uh, medium attacks as well. 
Um, but the basic concept of cancelling is that you are doing a mini mini attack of the light attack in between. And do not try and cancel your ability animations. We need those. For sure we need those. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is light, medium and heavy attacks. Now most of the time as we were discussing before you're going to be light attacking in between and keeping up your rotation uh, simultaneously. But there are some instances where you will find that you're running low on your main resource, either magicka or stamina, and you need to regain it. And of course, the best way to do that is to heavy attack. Now, there's actually a really easy way to continue your rotation uh, whilst regaining resources, and that is with the queuing system that we discussed previously. You'll find that you're able to heavy attack and queue up the next button in your rotation. I hope you can see that in the bottom left can heavy attack and queue up my wall of elements and basically that allows me to keep my rotation up and also regain my um my resource that is a really important part of your rotation in eso of course you have to keep up your resource management otherwise your dps will take a severe decrease anyway a really important distinction to be made is between a light and a medium attack a light attack obviously has the benefit of being able to be squeezed in between your abilities and your rotation, and it should be really quick and seamless. A heavy attack has the uh, benefit of regaining your resources, which is important for keeping up your rotation as well. A medium attack is freaking useless. Basically, all it does is it takes up more time, which lowers your DPS in the long run, and it also doesn't regain any resources. It's kind of hard to know what exactly a medium attack is, but it looks something like this. It's just, it takes too much time. It takes too much time and you're getting the full animation. You can see the two, the two bolts of fire. In order to do a successful heavy attack, you have to hold down until it automatically releases. A medium attack is anywhere in between those two things. Do not do this. It's a waste of magicka and it's a waste of time. It's probably really confusing if you're new to light attack weaving, but this it's, it's gonna ruin your entire rotation and it's gonna ruin your whole life. I hope that makes sense. I don't know if it does, but I really, really hope that that kind of makes sense. If you have questions about medium attacks and how to stop doing them, um, if you're maybe struggling to get the difference between a light attack and a medium attack, then you can always uh, comment down below and I'll try and tell you how I got over that hump myself because I definitely, definitely used a medium attack um, to my dismay. So the last thing we need to talk about before we wrap things up is bar swapping. Now, there are actually a lot of builds now in the new High Isle chapter using the new Oaken Soul Mythic that allow you to only use one bar. And if that's your kind of, if that's your jam and that would make uh, combat more enjoyable for you in ESO, then I highly recommend going for that. However, the vast majority of builds still will require a bar swap. And honestly, I think this is a really, really fun aspect of ESO combat in itself anyway, is having the dual bar and the kind of utility between the two of them. So the last thing we just need to talk about is honestly just how to swap bars seamlessly in your rotation using light attack weaving. You're going to light attack. Um, and depending on what your key binding for your uh, swap is, mine is alt. Uh, I would definitely recommend putting it somewhere kind of better than the default binding. The default binding is the little squiggly line. I don't know what that key is called. I'm really sorry, but I, I changed it to alt and a lot of my friends use uh, their mouse buttons as well, but I use that for dodge rolling and um, my final ability on my bar. So yeah, I use alt for my bar swapping. I highly recommend choosing something more comfortable to reach um, if you haven't already done so. So it's the same thing. Once again, you're going to light attack swap light attack swap and you can see oh i got an achievement you can see that i'm actually i'm like swapping my staff while firing i don't know if you can see that but poor guy's dead but you're able to put a light attack in the enemy and bar swap simultaneously um and that's something that you should be aiming to do is you should be you know it should be almost instantaneous, and then you continue with your rotation. It's, it's a really quick movement, and I can understand that maybe that might take a little bit of practice, and maybe, like I said, start slow, right? But you can you can still do this without it being simultaneous, just to start, right? You can just and swap, one and swap, one and swap. Yeah, sure, it's not as fast as we want it to be, but it's really, really far up there. It's it, it's getting there, and and that's what we're aiming for. You want, you want a quick, and you want a seamless, 
transition between your bars. I really hope that helps. I, I, I can't think of an easier way to explain it, but I hope you can see from what I'm pressing just how quick these two transitions are. Left click, alt, left click, alt, left click, alt. And this does require a little bit of a knowledge of your rotation. And I'm aware that that can take some learning. That can take some time and that's okay. Uh, it might take some take a little bit of practicing to get used to your class, your build, all of that good stuff. So, you know, please do take your time with it. But at the end of the day, if you know your rotation, then that is really half the battle. You're going to be able to swap and pick up your rotation. And to be honest, honestly, sometimes I don't even know my rotation. <laughs> I, I'm not somebody who parses 90 to 100k. To be honest, I've never really tried parsing. I just know that I do enough DPS for, for vet, DLC con vet, DLC, <laughs> vet DLC content. And that's really all I care about. I know there's a lot of people who are competitive with parsing in this game um, and definitely better players than I uh, than I am. A lot of my friends are way better DPS players than I am, um, but I'm not really in a competition. I'm just I'm just trying to learn and have fun. So I hope this helps. I hope this helped you as well. And just being competent from competition with yourself um, to be a better player is my best advice. There is absolutely no rush to become good at light attack weaving, but I think the common misconceptions hold a lot of people back from trying endgame content which i think is an absolute shame because dlc content in this game dlc dungeons veteran content and hard mode dungeons they are just so exceptionally good in the elder scrolls online and i i really found a love for the game through those i have to say there are other aspects of the game that i adore but those are what keep me playing they are really fantastic and i really love how the difficulty scales with those uh with those extra challenges of the hard mode speed run uh, no death and trifectas so you know it, even if this is a case of being able to finally queue for a random normal for you and feel like you kind of know what you're doing i think that's such a win because the more uh more people we have in the active pve community for eso the better in my opinion i hope this helped thank you so much for watching uh, please consider following my Twitch um, and my social medias. I am a member of the Elder Scrolls Online and Bethesda UK stream team, so if you are a fan of the Elder Scrolls games like I am, then consider checking me out. Um, all of my social media is linked below. Thank you for watching. I really hope this helped. Take care, have a wonderful day, and until I see you next time, take care and bye!